Hello everyone, George Packard with Family Lawn and Landscape. And I'm coming to you today to tell you about another story where I got screwed and hopefully I can avoid you guys from getting some of the screw-ins that I've been getting. So, I told you recently about this ordeal with this Jim Waller guy. Now, I got another ordeal with a guy who I cannot name, this is over in Florida. And I wanna tell you what happened in that situation. This guy owns a massive mansion, okay? So, I mean, it's huge. It's probably a $10 million house, okay? I have no idea what he does, but regardless, he hires us. It's a massive place. I come in, I give him the estimate. I meet with the guy like three times, okay? Finally, he brings us on board. It turns out, no matter what we did, and I worked for him for, I want to say probably three months, no matter what we did, we could not do it right. No matter what it was, it was never right. It was never good enough. I can remember going to that property myself a half a dozen times, and I've sent my manager over there. I don't, it got to the point where I sent my manager every single time that the guys went there to work. So we knew we were doing the best job possible for this guy. Okay, early on we had gotten half down for this big clean out job on the guy, and he owed us the other half, okay? Plus he hired us for monthly maintenance service, okay? But every time he turned around, he was adding extras on, okay? So this guy would add extras on to you every time you turned around that you weren't getting paid for, but then I, I, and I wanted to keep this contract, so I did a little ass kissing, I did some of these things, and then finally I had to pull the plug and I said, look man, I can't do any more extras for you without charging you for them, okay? I mean, I, we love having you as a customer, but I just can't do this anymore. I mean, I still haven't gotten paid for the other half of the clean out job. You know, he says, oh, yeah, yeah, I got to get you that money, you know. He says, yeah, that's no problem, George. Just do this stuff here and, and just send me a bill. I'll get it taken care of. And in my mind, I'm thinking, this rich guy is not going to have any problem paying me, okay? Turns out this rich prick had a big problem paying me, and he knew it going in that he, wasn't gonna, he was going to screw me. He knew it going in. So now I've got legal fees where I'm trying to take him to court, all this kind of stuff. But I'll tell you guys, um, and here's another thing. I'm going to tell you, okay? So right now he, he owes me under $5,000. So what I'm going to do is take him to small claims court. That only costs me $200 to take him to small claims court, okay? In the meantime, what I'm doing to this guy, this is where I like it. I really do. I love this because uh, he, I think he owes me like $3,600, okay? But what I do is he, he sa of course, sent me the threatening letter from his attorneys that, you know, all legal actions go through them and blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, you know he's paying those guys a minimum of $200 an hour. And every time they got to draft a letter, it's 200 bucks, guarantee you, okay? Guarantee that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do, and I hope you guys learn this, I send them a letter every three or four days. I just keep sending letters, sending letters, sending letters. When I get down to Florida, eventually... Once I get $3,600 worth of bills eaten up on his ass down there, his lawyers have to respond to me. And I offer him something new all the time. Well, what if we just did this? What if we just did that? That makes the lawyer have to contact him. They have to talk about it. There's more money he's got to spend on his attorneys. Before all said and done, he's going to pay that money to somebody. And I don't care at this point if it goes to his attorneys or not. Then I'm taking him to a small claims court. So, and I've got pictures of everything, documentation. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get this guy, okay? So, I want to share that story with you right off the bat. Um, so, now I want to tell you something else, and i got to get through this because I don't want the video to be really, really long, okay? So, um, commercial work, oh my God, um, you're pretty much at their mercy. And I could do a whole, whole thing on commercial work and getting paid, but I'm just going to tell you, you can't go to commercial jobs and expect your money right away because they're not going to give it to you, okay? It's 30, 60, 90 days out, You've got to wait for your money. Um, commercial landscape projects are a freaking nightmare. Um, to get your money, I'll tell you guys this. Never, ever, ever do anything extra on a commercial site because they don't give a shit about you. The general contractors don't care about you whatsoever. You're no different than those other 300 guys working on that property. I've learned this after all these years, okay? Okay. You want to get along with everybody, I should do a video just on that. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a video on that, so I'm going to just move past that. Catch the next one. I'll do it on that one. All right. Um, residentials. Let's just go to residentials, okay? Um, what I always do with landscape jobs is, even, if, even in my lawn care company, when I do landscaping for somebody, it's half down and the other half when the job is done, 
okay? If it's a small amount, if it's under $500, I might just wait and just collect the whole thing at the end of it, especially if I know that they've been around, okay? Uh, they've been a good customer of ours for a year or so, okay? Um, but it's always half down as a general rule. And if they're shady, you got to think about this. If there's, you're getting vibes from this guy, like something maybe just isn't quite right, you're right. Trust your gut. Something isn't quite right. I can't tell you how many jobs I've went on. Got half down. Then I finished the other end of the job, the other half, and never got paid. I've had that happen to me a lot. I've lost thousands of dollars with this. If they're shady, this is how you need to word it. I'm going to need half down today to put you on the calendar and the other half upon my arrival. And what does that mean? That means when you see the whites of my eyes and my crew behind me and we show up with our equipment ready to work, the money comes to me the second half. That's how you deal with them. And if they're not willing to pay you that money, then walk. I'm telling you, walk, because those guys will screw you. Or at the very least, get a quarter down. Say, okay, I want half down and I want a quarter when I show up. And then I want the remaining quarter when the job is done. You could do that as well. So just throwing that out there. Um, your lawn care guys, um, you get a customer that's a month behind, you need to pull the plug, period. Okay? Uh, don't let them get months and months behind. Those of you who know me know we have all of our customers are prepay, except little old ladies that got grandfathered in from day one we've had them. Okay? Trusted customers. Okay? But otherwise, depending on how you do it, if you have them pay you every time you're there, and they leave the money under the mat or something like that, and they get two weeks behind, I wouldn't touch your grass. I'd leave a note on the door saying I'm not coming back until you pay me. So I just want to share those few things with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links below on our, video, on our websites where we archive all our videos for you guys to look at, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.